Hello, and welcome back to Cinco Paus. Uh, we're currently on a one-game streak. One game, 20 points. Uh, we're trying to... Well, there's still a few things we don't know about this game. There's also, um... We'd also like to get enough keys to fill up the bottom row, see what that does. Maybe get a few new artifacts. Uh, and keep the streak alive. Let's begin. Two lizards, two shrimp, a phantasma. How do we want to do this? Stepping left, the shrimp is on parity. We could even zap two shrimp, although that's a little dangerous. Maybe some lizards line up for me if I do this. Let's bump a shrimp here. And then shoot a wand next turn. The lizards have moved, but this one is not. Uh, we've sent that lizard. Alright, well. We banished a lizard. We empowered our next attack, which isn't going to do much. Uh, and we got damaged because we teleported. Unfortunate, but what are you going to do? I think we bump a lizard here. Shoot a wand at a ghost? Actually, we can. We have a chance to corner the ghost here. It gives us the wrong parity for the shrimp, and we don't have a great shot at the shrimp, but I don't know. Just shooting point blank in this game always makes me weary. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. So let's try to corner this ghost. Um, cornering failed. So I guess now we're just shooting at the ghost and seeing what happens. Ooh! I don't think I've seen this effect before. The phantasm is my friend. Incredible. Alright. I suppose while, we, while we're, we're here, we'll chuck a... Spell at this book. Nothing yet. Maybe chuck another. I've killed my phantasm. I just noticed how long this path is. We maybe shouldn't have wasted so much time. I think we're gonna meet a sapo. Am I safe going down here? One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm getting hit for it. Um. Would I trade a point and an identify for a health? I don't really think so. I mean, the other, the other possibility is this wand does something, but if I shoot this wand, that wastes yet another turn, and then the frog actually does block me down here. On the other hand, I'm not getting out of here without taking a damage anyway, because we're on the wrong parity with this frog. I guess we could get on the correct parity with the wand. Okay, let's move up. Shoot the wand down at the book. Um... Okay, I think we can actually deal with this now. We would like to hit the frog on the turn that it gets stunned. Beautiful. It's another empower. We did not get cut off a second time, which is great. Okay, decent first floor. We learned some pretty useful effects from our wands. Um... Uh, didn't take too much damage. This floor is infested with lizards. Truly infested. What are we going to do about this? We could make a ghost our friend. Attempting. Uh... 
Um, I mean, we'd sort of love a bounce here. I think we shot this into a corner last time. It's possible that this bounces. Let's see what this wand does. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. It's beautiful. Wow, that was fantastic. Uh, we do have some parody problems here. Wrong parody, wrong parody. One, two, three, four, five. All wrong parody. So I guess we're shooting another wand. Wrap around could work. This hurts. This kills another lizard. It's possible this lizard runs into this. Doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, we've learned that this wand creates treasure if it kills things. We would love to exploit that, I think. Yeah. It has explode on it. It also has teleport, so we have to be a little careful. This lizard's going to be in the wrong parity with us if we... don't move immediately. The problem is... If we move... We actually have another problem. This spike is pretty annoying. We... We would really prefer for a lizard to trigger this spike. Is there a way I can accomplish that? Like, how are we getting around this stupid thing? I don't really... I don't know if I fully understand the rules for the spikes either. Like, why does the... I, so I shot... I shot a wand this way, and a spike only appeared there. I Like, I had the bad assumption in a previous game that the spike was from blood, but it is not from blood. So what's... What's the... What's so special about this space? In Espesos Sem Paredes? What's a Paredes? Um... Oh, okay. Maybe it's spaces without walls next to them. This space has no walls next to it. Every other space that this ray traveled did have walls. So I, I think that's the rule. Espesos. Hmm. I think that's the rule. Okay, I'm starting to think we bump this lizard and then... We really need to bait a lizard over here. What if we teleport through this lizard? Banish it. I mean, it's poison, so that's not a huge deal. We're not getting the treasure from it, though. I really wanted to get this treasure. Is the treasure worth taking a damage for? It could be. If I move down here, there's a chance that... This kills three enemies. <laughs> super greedy play, but on the other hand... It's super greedy and it costs me a damage. But it's, like, fun. Alright, not quite. And now we're... This is starting to be a little stupid. Let's move up. <laughs> um, I guess we're taking a damage. Who would we rather kill? I don't know. We're not getting value out of this treasure out of this treasure wand, I'm pretty sure. 
Because you have to hit the animals, but not directly. Because if you hit them directly, they get banished. You have to hit them indirectly with explosions. We could just teleport to avoid the damage. Then we're... 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct parity for this. 2, 3, 4. Correct parity for that lizard, which means that we're going to be on the wrong... We'll have to switch parity, but it won't be a huge deal. <gasps> and this lizard's hitting the spike. Okay, this worked out incredibly. Okay. I can't be too sad about that. Maybe wait for the sapo to come in and shoot the wand at it. Can I empower myself for the next floor? I'd like to try that. Well, if I shoot this wand now, I can't try that. Alright, let's just empower ourselves. And leave and hope that this carries over. It does indeed. Here's our banished poisoned lizard who has two turns to live well really only one active turn to live that next turn after that they die uh this bounces and hit thing hits things on the side it would kill the ghost twice <laughs> that's not that useful This wraps and does a damage to other animals. There could be a pretty juicy shot that, like, goes this way and hits three other animals. Oh, but this, this, uh, this frog's gonna go downwards because it's blocked by the lizard. So really, these aren't gonna line up the way I want them to line up. I really don't want to waste my empowered attack either. We'd love to kill a frog with this. I mean, I guess we have two more empowered attacks, and we have ready access to this wall. So it's not too bad. I think, um... I mean, maybe killing this ghost is pretty good. It makes a thorn here and here. Which seems desirable. Let's do that. It also hits the frog, because it's apparently an attack. I don't remember seeing that. Alright, this lizard's dead next turn. The frog's dead next turn. Which is very cool. Is there something we could do to... We could turn the shrimp into treasure down there. Well, sort of. I poison... This doesn't seem too bad, right? We hit... Two additional. We identify something. We poison. Oh, okay. So that time the additional didn't proc. I think it is. It only procs when you do. A, I think when you do damage to it or an attack to it. Because that did nothing in terms of uh, damage. I think we want to move down here so we can kill a shrimp with a side hit. Again, we want to use this attack to kill the sapo. I guess we could have been friends with the ghost too. I wonder why didn't we didn't consider that. Let's move down here. This turns corners too. That's good to know. Are we going to have the right parity for this frog? One, two, three, four, five. No. So we're going to want to use a wand.
I think you'd prefer to shoot the frog with the wand. Um, can't move. Until we use a wand, I think, is the rule. We're not allowed to empower ourselves. This is a little annoying. Alright, we got our health back. We haven't done anything super special this run. I've, I've, I've been trying to set things up and then <laughs> it keeps failing. For various reasons. We have a lot of corner shots, but no corners to use them on. How are we dealing with two frogs and two lizards? Not many potential spike usages. This goes through walls and poisons. That's a promising start, I think. The stun part of the poison is, like, very... What are we doing here? I think this is really bad, isn't it? Like, we basically have nothing we can do to these frogs until they get to us. We're going to be adjacent to them if we want to set up a shot, or, or we're backing ourselves into a corner. And banish everything, but then that next the zone of five is going to be hell. Um, curious. This frog's coming down because it's blocked on both sides. This lizard's coming up. Maybe. Maybe we just waste a turn. Now we... Use this for two damage? It seems a little weak. This is three damage. Also banishes a frog. <laughs> um, honestly, we kind of might need that. All right, it also teleports me. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to empower our attack on this floor. I think we back up one. Alright, we've gotten the frog to sort of leave us alone a bit. I 
think we want our one damage here. Wait, what happened there? Why didn't the frog take damage? What did I miss there? Huh. If we poison this frog... We don't have time, really, do we? We're taking so much damage from this frog. Two, three, four. Hit him. Hit him? Actually, this might be fine. Incredible. We're on the wrong parody for this. But we can delay. And it kills sideways because the beam doesn't turn yet. Alright, another Gemma. A Gemma. And we leave the frog. Now this floor is going to be a little scary. I'm expecting two roosters, a frog, <laughs> and like a couple shrimp. That's usually what's down here. One, two, three, four, five, six enemies on the field. We can start with a friend ghost. Now what? Get some spikes in here might be nice. I think this rooster is going to attack the ghost and not me. Although that means the rooster will move into the ghost spot. That is exactly what happened. Although if I retreat here, I think the ghost follows the or the rooster follows the ghost at that point. Does the rooster have like a 50% chance of attacking me here? That's what I'd assume. I like I need I need these shots to go off. to hope to survive. I mean, worst case scenario, we just teleport out, right? So I guess this isn't that bad. One, two. I mean, if we back up, one, two. Frog's there that turn. Hit him with a sideways shot. I don't, I just really don't like that. Like, I think we might just need to get out. Like, what else are we doing here? Let's take this shot. I think it's pretty decent. And the rooster did follow the ghost, which we're very happy about. I think we empower our attack here. Ooh, that's really good. I don't think we're too happy about this positioning, though. Do we just tank a damage so that we guarantee the rooster kill? We're tanking two damage, actually. I think that's fine. I think this is fine. Or no, we're taking three? That's a little scary. No, we're taking four. Okay, never mind. This just doesn't work. Right, because you move here. You get attacked by the shrimp and the rooster. Now you're down to two health. You attack the rooster, and now you die. So we, we do need to deal with this stupid frog nonsense. We can't use our empowered attack as we wanted to use it. 
which is very unfortunate. We don't. That means we don't really have a plan for this rooster. I guess we do have a plan for the rooster, which is kite it with poison. So maybe we just take the poison shot this turn. There's a sort of nice scenario here where we take one damage. If I shoot this... Okay, I guess, I guess if we're doing the poison shot, we're just... We're just taking, we're backing up and then taking the shot, right? Because then we get all three. Alright, we're taking damage from the shrimp, but after that, we're like peachy, right? Alright, and we get an artifact. Pretty exciting. Spantalho. Cria umbroxo falso. Uh, maybe like a decoy? In the Haru specs, identify ka um efito? So identify one effect. Is it a random effect? Both of these don't seem nearly as powerful powerful as my friend frog. I mean, a false brujo is pretty good, I think. If it's just one effect, I, I really don't see this being that good. I mean, it's it's like fine. It doesn't like save you from dying most of the time. If it, if it identified, like, a whole wand or something, that'd be pretty powerful. But I, I, it says, um, afito, which is, I, I think, just effect. I don't think it, the, the wands are, like, ver, verina or something. I don't know. It's, like, some V word, I thought. Let's, let's get a false brujo. And... If we get the chance here, we should probably test it out. Is this frog going to cut us off? Only sort of. We make our, our false brujo. Okay, so he's got five health. It's pretty good. That stalls a monster for quite an amount of time. Alright, so looks like we're good to go. Is there any reason to... Attack... The frog... I don't think so, because I can't get this effect to happen because it, it, it ends up banishing. Okay, I think we're good here. Um, That's a 20-point game, so we're up to 40 points. What were the other effects here that I missed? Okay, we had Reflect. This one's really hard to figure out for me, because uh, I'm usually not using the wand when something's adjacent, because it's so scary most of the time. There's a Reflect on this one, too. Those are both pretty good effects. This Duplicated? How did I not figure that out? Is there some condition on Duplicate that I don't understand? I swear I shot this through a ton of monsters. Huh, that's surprising. And then this effect, I still don't know what that effect even is. Do we have any clues? Where is that effect? <laughs> Here it is. Uh, Vahrinha? Yeah, the Varina is usually a wand. It can accommodate additional charges? A wand can accommodate... <laughs> 
Additional charges? What does that mean? Copia as cosas. I mean, that should copy, because, like, this will say, like, polymorph the cosas, right? So monsters are valid targets for this, and it wasn't like I was killing every monster with that wand. Maybe there's some sort of limit to how many monsters can be on a screen. Huh. All right. Well, I'm happy with that. Two game streak. We got a, a decent artifact. It, it, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it seems decent. It seems like it can get you out of a, a bad situation. So, um, yeah, that was Cinco Pass. We'll see you next time.